another one from the forum. So the user explained the problem something like this. There was a complex query which was taking a while to execute. And when the user is investigating the query plan, he sees the reason for early termination of statement optimization and the attribute value said time out. Now what is all this? When you send a query to SQL Server engine, the query optimizer, the component that is responsible to generate an efficient execution plan has a very limited amount of time in which it has to create an efficient execute, uh, execution plan and output that plan using which the query gets executed. Let's take a step back and look at various stages. If you look at this statement, this query, and it's a dummy query just to reproduce the problem, uh, what I'm trying to do here is just join the same table over and over again, but I'm going to do that a little later. First, let me execute the first statement. This is a very simple select statement. Let's go and execute this, select star from sales order header, and you get all the data out. Let's go over to the execution plan, select the select operator, right click, let's go to properties. In the properties here, you will observe there is something called as optimization level, which says trivial. Now trivial here means what it is supposed to mean, which is this query is very trivial for the SQL Server query optimizer. It just did not apply too much brain in trying to get this data out or trying to get this query executed. Select start from the table. Very, very straightforward. Just go and scan the entire data. If there is an index, do a clustered index scan. If, there are, if there's no index, let's say, just do a table scan. You just read all the data from the first record to the last record, from the first page to the last page. Just get the data out. Very, very trivial. But when you make this query a little more complex, and what I mean by complex is you add more tables to the query, you are joining, you're grouping, you're ordering, and so on and so forth, then the query is kind of deemed complex. So what I'm doing here is just creating a dummy version of the query. So let's join the table with itself over and over again with multiple aliases. Let's go and execute this. Now this to you and me may also seem very simple that okay, we're just joining four or five tables, but for the query optimizer, this may not be very simple. Let's jump over to the execution plan and go to the select operator again, right click, go to properties. And now you will see that there is something called as optimization level as full. This here means that query optimizer has multiple stages when it is evaluating multiple plans as to, as to in its effort to find which is the so-called best plan. It is passing through different stages and one of the stage here is full. I think there's another stage after full here because I don't see parallel operators here. So you are understanding reading the data from a single table and then you're reading data from multiple tables by joining them, and then you're grouping, then you're ordering, and all of that is being done in a serial fashion, which is like a single threaded execution. And then comes a stage where you add more threads to it, you make the query go parallel, so that is really full optimization with parallelism. So these are multiple stages. But then what we want to know here is the reason for early termination. Now, has this query you know, the plan finding thing terminated early. Let's look at one of the attributes here called query time stats. And this is kind of hidden here. So let's go and expand this. And you have reason for early termination of statement optimization. And you can clearly see that this says time out. Now the query execution has not timed out. The query actually executed in about three to four seconds but this is the timeout of the optimizer in its process of evaluating multiple plans in its effort of finding multi, uh, the best, the most efficient execution plan. Now, going back to what I said in the beginning, what does this really mean? Optimizer is, is running against the clock. It has a very limited amount of time to find the best, the most efficient execution plan. And theoretically, there could be thousands and you know hundreds and thousands of combinations, permutations that it could apply. But the very limited amount of time that it has, it finds 
whatever best it can and it times out and it outputs that plan and that plan gets passed on to the query executor and the query executes using that particular plan. Now, remember in this academic example that I'm showing you by just kind of joining the, the same table over again, but in real world, the query might be really complex. It could be a long um, uh, query, multiple lines of code, and really a lot of complex attributes added to the query. And it could actually take a lot of time for the query to execute itself. And when that happens and you're investigating the query via the execution plan, you may want to go and look into this attribute, whether the optimizer timed out when it was evaluating multiple plans for the query. Now I know this was this is something like internals of SQL Server that I'm talking about and you want to know, okay, Amit, when something like this happens, what are we supposed to do? Well, we are talking about simplifying the query here. When you have something like this, and that happens as I told you, when you have these multiple joins, group by, order by, and you have uh, parallelism also uh, uh, happening in action, the idea here is to simplify the query, which is you your effort of rewriting the query. So using indexes, using stat updates and all of that, those are different things. We are talking about tweaking the query. We are actually talking about a T-SQL rewrite. Hope you had something new to learn. And if you like the video, do share this with your friends and colleagues. Happy SQL. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there. Video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.